Blue Ruin thrills on demand, and a mini Breaking Bad reunion sells a horrifying children's book. It's EW's must list for Tuesday, April 29th. Stop what you're doing right now and go see Blue Ruin, the disturbing and funny indie thriller. Macon Blair stars as a bearded drifter who sets off on a mission of vengeance. The film suggests the early Coen brothers, but also feels totally unique. It's in select theaters and on demand, so you have no excuse for not watching it immediately. Child of Light is a pretty boring name for a pretty awesome game. A better title would be something like Winged Sword Princess vs. Gross Super Monsters. The point is, Ubisoft's new game is a very cool old school RPG platformer from the same people who created the absolutely brilliant Far Cry 3. It's available today for every conceivable video game system, basically. True story, I spent over 18 hours in Disneyland on December 31st, 1999, which means I spent the first minutes of the new millennium wanting to get the out of Disneyland. So I especially enjoyed the dark fantasy Escape from Tomorrow, which was shot guerrilla style inside Disney's theme parks. It's the story of an average guy who starts going crazy, and I blame It's a Small World. Actor David Yuri got his head smashed by an ATM machine on Breaking Bad, which is much cooler than anything I've ever done in my life. Even more impressive, Yuri has now co-authored a children's book, Everybody Dies, and staged a minor Breaking Bad reunion to celebrate it. The book's trailer features an appearance by the actors who played Skinny Pete and one of the brothers. It'll tied you over until Better Call Saul debuts later this year. That's all for today, but come back tomorrow for Musta's details on the crossover between Chicago PD and Chicago Fire, when all your favorite Chicago heroes come together to stop Thanos from destroying the world with the Infinity Gauntlet.